Seizure or convulsion that comes with fever is a very common neurological problem that we see in a day-to-day -day basis which is because of febrile seizure or a febrile convulsion. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeevan Silwal, pediatric neurologist from Athena Polyclinic, Siliguri. Today we'll be discussing about this very common neurological problem, febrile seizure or febrile convulsion. Febrile seizure or febrile convulsion is a very common neurological problem that we see on a very day-to-day -day basis. Any seizure or convulsion that comes with fever is called febrile seizure. It is generally seen in children from 6 months to the 6 years of age. Usually the children have a normal birth history and the developmentally they are normal. But sometimes the developmentally deviated or developmentally abnormal children also may have febrile seizure. More commonly, many of the children have a generalized stiffening and after the stiffening, after the tonic stiffening, they go into a kind of a jerking of both upper and lower legs and eyes going to one side or uprolling and many of the children may have some frothing or some salivation from the mouth. The duration usually is lasting for only few minutes but sometimes it can be very prolonged in some of the cases. So. Uh, there are basically two types of febrile seizure. One is simple febrile seizure, another one is a complex febrile seizure. Simple febrile seizure means the seizure which lasts for only a few minutes and children will have a seizure, only one episode of seizure in the 24 hour period. However, complex febrile seizure means the children will have a, more than one episode of seizure in the 24 hour period and the duration of seizure may last for a very long uh, period of time they may last even for more than 15 minutes also. So these are called complex, complex febrile seizures. And uh, the implication is the complex febrile seizure will have more chances of recurrence in the future. And uh, many times these febrile seizures, they evolve into, uh, you know, many of the children will have few episodes of the febrile seizure and that will subside. Many a time they will have a febrile seizure. On top of that, they may have some febrile episodes and sometimes the children will have this fever and seizure even beyond the usual time period that is more than six years of age. Uh, so they may evolve into different kind of a pattern and there is a very low risk of uh, child, children uh, getting epilepsy after a recurrent febrile seizure that is usually around one to two percent. So what are the causes of febrile seizure? So febrile seizure is mainly because of the increased neuronal excitability because of the fever and uh, there are many times genetic predilection to have a febrile seizure that's why when we ask the family history some of the parents or maybe a sibling may have a history of febrile seizure or an febrile seizure during the childhood uh, times so what are the risks of having a recurrent febrile seizure if there is a seizure, febrile seizure that comes at a very young age of onset or if there is a seizure with a very low grade fever or family members having a febrile seizure or an epilepsy are some of the risk factors for having a recurrent uh, febrile seizure. So regarding evolution as we discussed some of the children later may have febrile episodes and very rarely children with febrile seizure evolve into having an epilepsy. So diagnosis wise many times it is a clinical diagnosis a child who is developmentally no normal suddenly comes with an episode of fever followed by a seizure and after the episode of a seizure child becomes almost back to normal. But many times, especially in a small age group, less than one year of age or first two years of age, when child comes with an episode of a seizure and a fever, the doctor is always worried about uh, ruling out a meningitis or a encephalitis, especially in a children who are less than one and a half years of age. So they may need hospitalization and further evaluation for the cause of fever. Otherwise, for a first episode of fever, if the child is otherwise well, we don't need an EEG or an MRI of the brain. But if in case of feb complex febrile seizure or in cases of recurrent febrile seizure or in case of febrile seizure followed by a febrile episode of seizure, we may need an electroencephalogram that is an EEG and an MRI of the brain. So treatment wise, uh, we have to understand that febrile seizure is not an epilepsy. So we don't need a continuous medicine for febrile seizure. Control of fever is very important. Fever has to be controlled. Second thing is the doctor will prescribe you some medicine that is that will be given for the period of three to five days during the period of fever that is usually used is the tab clobazam tablet which is universally used throughout. And 
uh, after the period of three to five days we can immediately stop it but if the ch child have a very recurrent episode of febrile seizure or, or if there, there are episodes of febrile seizure on top of febrile seizure which we medically call as a febrile seizure plus these are children who may need medication for a longer period of time these are for these are the roughly the treatment uh, decision that we take and whenever the child any child have a episode of seizure with fever what are the things that parent has to keep in mind is first is please don't panic just see around that the child does not injure himself loosen the, all the clothes and try to control the fever by by uh, you know tepid sponging of the whole body and let the child lie on a left lateral position you must have a midazolam spray that the doctor might have prescribed to you according to the way the midazolam spray has to be given please don't pinch the nose or put anything in the mouth or don't try to open the mouth with a finger or any spoon or any keys once the midazolam spray is given immediately after a few uh, one to two minutes the seizure will subside on it on its own so in Athena Polyclinic, we are on a very daily basis, we are seeing the cases of febrile seizure. Pediatricians or a neurologist can very simply treat a febrile, simple febrile seizure. But however, if any child who has a focal kind of a seizure with fever, or if they have a very recurrent kind of a febrile seizure, or if they have a, a febrile episode of seizure on top of febrile seizure, this is the time when you have to meet a pediatric neurologist. Thank you.